What you see on your screen right now is a home theater receiver. It's from Yamaha. It happens to be the RX V683. It is a network connected receiver. In other words, it's connected to the Wi-Fi in this house, which is connected to the internet. So it's network connected. What we're going to demonstrate in this video is a firmware update. We'll begin right after this. From time to time, the manufacturer of your home theater receiver will put out firmware updates to improve the performance of your home theater receiver. Yamaha is no different. They're actually quite attentive to this process. So I'm going to demonstrate one of the methods that Yamaha permits you to do a firmware update on a receiver that is network connected. We are already connected to our Wi-Fi router, which is connected to the Internet. Now, for this particular receiver, which is the RXV683, there are a couple of methods for initiating a firmware update. One is you can use a thumb drive. Now, we're not going to demonstrate that method in this particular video, but to make a long story short, the thumb drive method requires that you navigate to the home theater manufacturer's website locate the particular firmware update specific to your receiver, load it onto your thumb drive, and then put the thumb drive into a USB port on the back of your receiver and initiate the firmware update using the menu and setup controls of your receiver. While that's a feature built into this Yamaha receiver, we're not doing that. What we're doing is we're doing a network firmware update. Now, it's important to note a couple of basic things. One, you want to make sure that you are not attempting a firmware update when you do not need a firmware update. In other words, if your existing firmware is current, don't initiate a firmware update. Two, when you initiate a firmware update, do not turn your system off. Let the firmware update complete fully. All right, now let's get started on the firmware update for this Yamaha receiver. Now, I want you to pay particular attention to the screen on the face of the receiver because as we initiate this firmware update, that screen is going to give us some important information that will confirm we're doing it correctly and perhaps the opposite is true as well. It'll confirm we're not doing it correctly. And I think you'll see what I mean. Now, in the instructions for the Yamaha, what they tell us is that if you press a button on the remote control, which I'm going to show you, and the button is labeled on screen, the, the uh, image on your TV should automatically tell you if you're required to do a firmware update. So let's give that a shot. There's the on screen button. I hope that my camera has auto focus and I'm going to press it while pointing at the receiver. Now you'll notice the words view on screen have come up and we're going to rotate to the TV. and a menu item has come up on the television itself. Now, I'm going to use the uh, left, right, up and down cursor buttons on the Yamaha home theater remote control and I'm going to navigate to information and I'm going to press the enter button on the Yamaha remote. <clears throat> now, Sometimes you'll automatically show up on this screen and sometimes you will not. But if you'll notice in the center of your screen, it says new firmware available. Press enter to go to the update screen. Before I do that, though, I want to mention to you that when you first start up your Yamaha receiver and you press that on screen button, it will automatically show on the television screen whether or not you require a firmware update. Now we had found that already on this TV and we decided to exit out of it because <clears throat> we wanted to make this instructional video to help you with the firmware update process. So back to this screen and what it says is new firmware available press enter to go to the update screen so we're gonna press enter on the Yamaha remote control now <clears throat> this is the screen that showed up 
the first time we pressed the on-screen button. So it says new firmware available. It takes about 20 minutes to update the firmware. Now we're doing this over Wi-Fi, which is fast enough, but there might be a faster way through a USB or a direct Ethernet connection, but we're doing it Wi-Fi and we presume most viewers of this video will do it Wi-Fi as well. And we're not gonna show you the whole firmware update for 20 minutes because that would bore you right to sleep. We're gonna actually pause the video during it and then we're gonna pick the video up at the end. So I'm gonna use the Yamaha remote control and scroll over to start and I'm gonna press the enter button. And again, do not turn off your home theater once you initiate this process. I'm gonna scroll the TV, um, correction, I'm gonna scroll the camera back down to the face of the receiver. Notice it says view on screen and I'm gonna press the enter button now. And you'll notice the words network update. I'm gonna pause the video and I'll pick it back up when the firmware update begins and I'm gonna tell you how long this took. About one minute has passed and I have stopped the video and restarted it just to fast forward for you, the viewer. Approximately two minutes have passed. About three minutes have passed and while we're waiting for the firmware update to complete, I wanna ask you two things. If you're not already a subscriber to this channel, Will you please hit the subscribe button at the bottom right of the screen? We publish what we hope are helpful videos on emerging home electronics all the time. We try to provide helpful reviews and how-tos uh, in relation to questions that many homeowners have throughout the world, actually. And if this video is of any benefit to you, would you kindly give it a thumb up? We're going to pause for just a moment. We're at about the six or maybe seven minute mark and the update is still occurring, but it's important to note the reason you wanna do these firmware updates is as you add smart devices to your house, you'll wanna incorporate uh, this receiver or other network receivers with your smart devices. For example, Yamaha is going to integrate with Amazon's Echo and we presume they'll integrate with Apple at a certain date and uh, the other one Google Home which is going to be a huge player in the market. Now we can speak from experience if you don't already have these smart speakers connected to devices uh, they're kinda great because they're very convenient they help you to perform repetitive tasks and although this receiver might look a little daunting to some of you viewers, once you have it set up, it's actually quite easy to set up. Uh, connecting it to something like the Amazon Echo uh, will help Alexa to play music, podcast, nursery rhymes if you have children in the house, uh, movies, or any, any type of audio track. So we're now at about the eight minute mark and you can see from the face of the screen it's continuing to change. I want to try to answer a couple of questions that I know we will receive in relation to this video based upon other questions we receive from other videos. Perhaps the remote that you have does not have a button labeled on screen and that's simply because Yamaha is continually evolving their product lines to better meet the needs and the wishes of the consumer product. So. What you want to do in that case, if you don't have a printed owner's manual handy, we would recommend you navigate to Yamaha's website and find the owner's manual specific to your receiver and look through the table of contents. You'll find what page the firmware update process is located on and you can follow those instructions. But they'll genuinely, genuinely be, I should say generally be uh, similar to what we're showing you right here. 
Okay, after about 15 minutes, looks like we've had a firmware update success and it's now instructing us to power off the system, which we're gonna do. And we're gonna give it just a brief moment and it comes right back on. So thank you for watching this video. That is how to successfully do a firmware update on a Yamaha home theater receiver. And we hope you have a great day.